Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. So much has been transpiring ever since the re-election of Emerson Nangangwa and this time around, Zimbabwe's right abuses referred to AU and this has caused a huge stir already. Emerson Nangangwa is actually facing a heated moment after his re-election. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and most importantly, share this video to the ends of the world to your friends family members loved ones because you are making everyone exactly know what is happening on ground human rights watch talk Amnesty International is lobbying the African Union to compel the Zimbabwean government to uphold human rights in its latest report titled Zimbabwe Human Rights Under Attack, which is a review of Zimbabwe's human rights record in the period between 2018 to 2023 Amnesty International said President Emerson Nangangwa's rule had failed to reform the abysmal legacy of human rights under the late former president Robert Mugabe's leadership. In the report, Amnesty International also said the Southern African Development Community must protect Zimbabweans from abuse and call on authorities to uphold human rights before, during and after all elections. Amnesty International further calls upon the African Commission on Human and People's Rights to undertake a country visit to Zimbabwe through its relevant special mechanisms to investigate allegations of human rights violations in the country and request relevant letters of authority to allow its special mechanisms to conduct inspections and promotions visits, the report actually had it and I read. The report raised concerns over the country's shrinking democratic space over the past five years. In the exact words, Amnesty International had this to say, and I quote, In the past five years, the human rights situation in Zimbabwe has continued to be of extreme concern. It said the right to peaceful protest, which is guaranteed by the Constitution of Zimbabwe and international human rights treaties to which the country is a state party, has been repeatedly violated. The military has been heavily involved in policing civilian gatherings, leading to an intimidating atmosphere for those wishing to exercise their rights to freedom of expression and peaceful assembly. Amnesty International had to spill out. Also, the government has ramped up efforts to suppress human rights with individuals who speak out or organize protests facing persecution, said the Rights Watch talk. Local civic society organizations such as Zim Right and the Zimbabwe Peace Project have also accused the ZANU PF regime of cross human rights violations, and this has caused a huge stir on the media already. Emerson Nangangwa, ever since his re election, has actually been moving from one problem to the next. So many people have been dragging him. Everybody be more or less like, yo, he needs to back down already, saying that the whole election process was fraudulent and stuff like that. And his main opposition that happens to be Chamisa is actually, you know, not even backing down, saying fully well that a recount of the electoral votes needs to be redone or else an entire re election should be done. And all of these things, if you check deeply, guys, you're going to come to an understanding that these are signs already that if care is not taken seriously in Zim, then there might be a very serious protest all over the place already. And what if we speak about another coup? Because we know that African presidents right now are actually witnessing a lot of coups right now. And in as much as the people are so excited about these things, I want more of this to happen, especially with the presidents who are actually in power, not because they deserve it, but because of the ultimate, you know, authority and kind of fraudulent activities that they get themselves into so everybody be more or less like guys all these presidents need to go down anyways i personally feel so bad about all of this but then again i just wish that all of these things should actually be arranged in a peaceful way and zimbabweans should be left protected at the end of the day i love you all and you all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this take good care of yourselves please